Hi, I'm Matthew and I'm a physiotherapist. Today I'm going to talk to you about how to set up your workstation to optimize your position and comfort when working from home. Now there's a number of variables at home that can make it challenging, such as more noise and other distractions, having a good chair and a clear workspace. Uh, but in this video we're going to focus on five key areas for positioning for success. So tip number one is to have your feet flat on the floor resting with full contact. If you can't do that, use a footrest. In a pinch, a uh, Rima 2 of A4 paper works pretty good. This will set you up with a good foundation. Tip number two is to have your hips level or slightly higher than your knees. To do this, you'll have to adjust your chair height. I recommend aiming to have your hips bent at about 90 to 100 degrees, depending on your personal preference. If possible, try and have your knees bent at 90 degrees too, and have a clearance of about two to three centimeters between your knees and the edge of the seat at least. Tip number three is to use your backrest and your lumbar support. I get a lot of people coming to me with trouble with posture who've been sitting bolt upright, uh, afraid to lean into the backrest. What usually happens to them is they get tired from sitting like that and then they tend to slouch for the rest of the day and end up with tired muscles and stiff joints. Leaning into the backrest is not the same as slouching. Set that backrest, rest to about 15 to 20 degrees tilt and pop your lumbar support in the curve of your back. It doesn't do you much good poking into your hips or down on your ribs. Tip number four is to set up your monitors to minimize awkward positions for your neck. You want to aim for your head to be directly over your shoulders most of the time. Looking down to the laptop screen, off to the side to a second monitor, or over to the corner of your desk looking at your phone can overload your neck. Have the screen set up about an arm length away and aim to have your gaze on the top third of the screen. If you've got a laptop, you can use a wireless keyboard and lift the laptop up to get that eye level. Set up your main monitor positioned right in front of you and your second monitor at a slight angle. If you use both of them about the same, you know, it's not a bad idea to kind of set them both up on a slight angle. Please, please, please use your headphones and don't have your phone cradled between your head and neck. That's really tough on your neck. Tip number five is to minimize overreaching. Have your chair nice and close to the desk. Have your mouse and keyboard and other tools like pen, paper, uh, and your phone not too far away to avoid reaching with your upper body. Try and set yourself up so that your shoulders and your elbows are in a nice, relaxed middle position. All right, so to summarize, we have tip number one, feet resting flat on the floor with full contact. Tip number two, have your hips level or slightly higher than your knees. And you know, remember that 90 degree uh, angle on the knee with at least two or three centimeters clearance is also really good. Tip number three, you know, use that backrest and that lumbar support, there's a reason why it's there. Tip number four, set up your monitors uh, to minimize that awkward position for the neck. So remember that gaze being at the top third of the screen is, is a really helpful thing to aim for and about an arm's length away. Tip number five is try and see if you can set yourself up to minimize the overreaching. You don't want to be straining, reaching out for your mouse or, uh, or scrawling your pen and paper down in the corner of your desk. Set up your space to make it maximally useful for you so that you're not stretching all over the place. All right, I hope you found this advice useful and until next time, stay well.